Oh no. Uh oh, fuck. They slept in. Hi. Good morning. Really? You couldn't have woke me up? <laughs> yeah. I had fun last night. Don't worry about it. It's just I didn't really want to fall asleep here, you know. I still really need to get back home. There's a lot of things I gotta pack up. <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> so, how are you? How are you feeling? Well, that's good. I'm not really sure what to do right now, honestly. Huh. What's on my mind? Well, I'm a little bit worried. Who he is? I mean, I know they're gonna come for me eventually, so when they do... I actually don't know fully who the leader of all this shit is. Well, specifically, I kinda just know a little bit. Compared to everything else that goes on, it's just kind of... <sighs> Sorry, I think I'm getting a little sick. It's just kinda normal to me. The rain isn't letting up, though. It's kinda shit, not gonna lie. <laughs> just means I gotta walk back and all of that later. So tell me. Why? Why did you let me stay here? You know, and spend this time with me. I'm only trouble for you. I don't understand why you'd waste your time with me. Honestly, it doesn't really make much sense to me at all. I don't really know what to do at this point. I'm just kind of trying. I mean, to me, you're... You know, like, okay in that, but... For a long time, I didn't like you. And then I became a little bit obsessed with you. I'm not really sure how to fully describe how I feel about you, but... I'm trying. You know? It's never really been easy for me. <clears throat> I mean... Look at you. You're amazing in your own way. And I'm just me. Alone and not really worth anything. Huh. S sorry again about last night. I was pretty out of it. That weed brownie really did do a number on me. You know, we did half it, so... I don't really do edibles. <laughs> yeah, it kinda turns into a psychedelic when you start hitting on that shit, so... Yeah, it's a lot stronger than smoking it. Mm. <laughs> Of course. But I like to be a little bit safe about things. Well, I'm not as dumb as I look. Or do I come across as dumb? <sighs> oh well. So. How are you feeling, sleepyhead? You need a drink or anything? Okay, that's good. I don't really have anything on me anyway, so... <laughs> mm. Good morning. Um, hey, I have a question for you. I don't really know how to ask it, though. When I told you last night about everything that was going on, it just something was a little off about everything. 
Oh, I've noticed quite a few red flags, and I'm a bit worried about it, so I'm bringing it up to you. Most people would just leave. I am more... I can front things head on. Answer me this. Why didn't you seem surprised? I... <sighs> I don't know, I, I've only ever really spoke a few times. Um, but <laughs> when I brought this up to you last night, it was, it was different. Something had changed in you. I don't know. I mean, I could just be overthinking it because of the edibles, but I don't think it was because of that. I'm not trying to be like an asshole or something. It just, it seemed like you knew more than you were letting, letting on. Or like you already knew what was going on in the first place. Am I correct in thinking that you do know more? Well, I mean, it's, it's fine. I just want you to be honest with me, you know? Because this is some serious shit. I really... It's hard for me to trust people. It's not like I can just walk up to random people and... You know. I care about you. So I'm putting my trust in you. To be able to tell me the truth. So is that possible for you to do that with me right now? Or... Is there really something you're not telling me? Don't touch me. Answer the question. Or I need to go. And you will not see me again. I mean, genuinely serious right now. This isn't a fucking joke. So answer me again. Do you know more than you're letting on? I'm taking your silence as a yes right now. Um, okay, well, it's probably best that I had. Um, because I can tell from a mile away that you already know. <laughs> I'm not some little girl, I'm not fucking high anymore. Okay, we had our night. That's good and all, but I know for a fact that you're hiding something from me. I can literally tell by just the way you're looking at me right now. It's not fun. I opened up to you about something that's worrying me. Scaring me and making me feel unsafe. You held me in your arms last night and kissed me and other things and t t told me that I was safe in your arms and I felt safe in those moments, but now I don't think... I have, uh, that I am. So tell me. What the hell is going on? Who are you? And where? Oh, fuck. I was right, wasn't I? It's you. <sighs> oh, fuck. <laughs> only me, right? Only me, only, only me could be dumb enough to fall for this shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. I 
can get behind this. <sighs> Breathe. <laughs> well, I need to calm myself down, right? Because I don't think you're going to be able to help me out with that anymore. <sighs> Fuck. I'm surprised you haven't tied me up. Have you got my phone? Why? Why are you going through my phone? Uh, how much do you know? Well, you obviously know more than you're leading on, and I don't understand right now what to think. So I'm asking you a simple question. What? What do you mean by drink? I don't want to drink. <laughs> what is that? Where are we? I don't know where we are. This isn't your house, is it? What are you doing? Fine. Then tell me what's going on. Why can't you? That's a complete lie. You know it yourself. You're fucking chatting bullshit right now. I'm not trying to be cruel. I'm just getting a little bit out of myself, okay? I... I am feeling a lot of emotions towards you. And one of them is fear. Simple, but it's also hatred towards you. A great deal of hatred. So I need you to answer me, please. Tell me. Please tell me what I need to know. Because if what's going on in my head right now is correct, and the delusions are coming back again, maybe. Maybe it's something else. Oh, fucking God. You've convinced me. <laughs> I've just given myself to someone who wants to fucking kill me. How the hell do you even get out of something like that? You tell me because I don't think I can be able to do something like that, huh? You fucking psycho. What's wrong with you? Hey, I've never done anything as cruel as what you're doing. Sure, I stalked you a little bit, and I tried to push you away at the beginning, and it didn't really fucking help. But what you're doing is way worse. You're cruel. I, I don't even know what to do anymore with you. Why? Why are you doing this? How do you even get out of it? There's no way you could get anything out of it to begin with. There's literally nothing there. Well, we both know the story about everything that happened. Are you him? No. And what do you mean? Well, yeah, it does really give me some sort of a relief that you're not him. But how do I know you're not lying to me? How do I know you're not going to give me to him? Because if you do that, I'm completely fucked. Do you realize that, huh? It isn't as easy as that. I 
woke up next to you this morning giving you everything of me. I've never slept next to someone before or anything like that. I used to think I actually fell in love with you. For you to do something like this to me is... Uh, it's confusing. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if... There's many, many, many ways this could play out right now. Either you're fucking crazy and I don't know why you're doing this. Or you do know more than you're leaning on. Or you are him or you're gonna give me to him. And I don't know what to do about that and I'm a bit worried about it. You see... <laughs> For some reason, the only outcome of all of this is me gonna be getting killed at the end of it. I came over to see you for the last time. Why did you have to make it complicated? Why, why did you have to make this shit complicated for me? I just wanna go. I want to go somewhere where I don't need to worry about this fucking bullshit anymore. These mind games over and over again. Because that's what everyone seems to constantly fucking play with me. So. Why am I here? Hmm? Are you going to tell me? Or are you just going to kill me? Well... Your word. Your word means nothing to me. You give me your word that you're not gonna kill me? Are you fucking crazy? You literally just jumped me out and dragged me down here. I don't even know where the fuck we are. Surprisingly, you haven't chained me up, which is, it doesn't make any sense. Aren't you, well... You could probably overpower me anyway, so... Running would be a dumb option, so why? You didn't want to hurt me, huh? That's a bit ironic. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? You're part of their grip, aren't you? You've gotta be. There's no way you'd be able to get that type of intel without somehow being a close relation to the grip in some sort of a fucking way. It doesn't make any sense. So what are you? No, that does make sense. How? How is that even possible? You're related to him, aren't you? What is it he asked you to do? Well, I found it a bit weird when you uh, showed up to that fucking school as a, an exchange student. Not at first. I mean, everything kind of went in perfectly, but... You took an attraction to speaking to me. No one ever does, does that. Um, it didn't make any sense at first. So what are you telling me? That the only reason you spoke to me was to get under my skin? For him? Or did you... You did. You actually fell in love with me. Oh, fuck. Then why are you doing this? Yeah, 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 as you said, you're not trying to hurt me, but this kind of proves a little bit differently. You still have to follow with the plan? Or what? He'll kill you? Please. I've known you for a few months now. You're not a fucking idiot. You're probably one of the most intelligent people I know. You could take him out of within a fucking day. There's another girl around here. What are you planning? <laughs> I 
I think I'm getting sick. But what is it that you're planning? Why me? Well, I can see that this obviously wasn't part of the fucking plan, but when you take me like this and then you're demanding orders, you're throwing them the fuck around, what exactly do you expect me to feel? Hmm? Normal? I don't- I don't feel good. I feel really sick right now. Honestly, I feel fucking sick to my stomach having to sit here and listen to you right now. <sighs> Because if you haven't realized, I'm in love with you. I am. I really am. And it's killing me right now that you're betraying me in the fucking spot. I would have given my all, my all to you. I had, I had done things I had never done before to any anyone else. I stalked you for so long as well. I learned everything there was possibly even able to learn about someone to you. And you just... I feel like you're just throwing it all away. Not only... You have another objective or something. There's gotta be something else. I'm right, aren't I? I'm correct. You're gonna give me to him. Oh, fuck. I don't wanna go. Please don't make me go. Please don't make me go. I don't wanna go there. You don't understand what he'll do to me if he finds me. You think that your cousin or whatever the fuck he is in relation to you, you think that he'll stop? You're crazy if you think he'll stop. He's been hunting me down for months to get me. You think that he won't hesitate? You're just as crazy as him. Then if you're not family, what are you? Why have you been stalking him? Okay. I don't want to be a part of this plan. It's fucked up in so many ways. I really don't want to meet him. Not again. Not after what happened last time. What do you mean I don't have a choice? Huh? You drug the water? No, no. No, 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 please. Please, please don't give me to him. Uh, no. I already told you not to do that. Oh god. Oh, what did you put in the water? I'm starting to feel a little easy here. 